Does Jeff, The Rock say he's clean? He has implied it pretty heavily, but he also doesn't end up in <laughs> scenarios where he gets asked point blank, whereas Liver King goes out of his way to fucking lean into it and use it as like a marketing spiel. The Rock should come clean right now. He should make a video <laughs> yeah. in response to the Liver King video. Yeah. Yeah. I need to talk to you because The Rock's been lying. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, the there's it, not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No, not a chance in hell. As big as the Rock is at fifty, what was wild is he came out. Okay, and I get this is like coincides <clears throat> with the message he would want to push too. And I don't think it's like disingenuous necessarily, but it's like he was on a Men's Health interview and he talks about how his number one priority is longevity now. The and, Rock, yeah, and I'm like, dude, like everything you're doing is like the hyper opposite of that like in terms of a diet a lifestyle potentially but like the the drug exposure to maintain the physique to then do the superhero roles to do the whatever at yeah. his age like it's clearly not longevity focused it's very much like how much can i milk this right now with my brand sort of thing well we're not when you're looking at a physique let's look at a physique of the rock like a full jacked rock find find the rock at his most jackety jacked He's, like, pretty fucking peaked in terms of, like, it, the last few years, he's definitely, like, turned it up a notch. At 50. Yeah. That's natural, bro. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's, how could you think otherwise? Eats a lot of sushi. Yeah. <laughs> but <clears throat> point is, it's like, you can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. No. Like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, is this pro longevity? Like, of course not. And it's no, he's so massive, and he's so different than he was when he was thirty. Yeah, when you're in your twenties and obviously mindful of your image, and you know you're still working out like a maniac, mm -hmm. you're like a top tier. Like he's a genetic marvel, as is anyways when he was natural. Like yes. He, so to have all of a sudden thirty years later, like you're in better form than you were in your twenties. Like, it's, it's just fucking obvious, obviously. Yeah. I mean, um, this is okay, but there's some better videos of him um, where it just, you know, shows this preposterous physique that, you know, there's a responsibility that you have to people that are listening to you. And if you don't want to talk about it, that's one thing. Yeah. But if you do talk about it, there's a responsibility that you have to people that are listening to you. Mm. And I think you have to be honest. Yeah. Which is why I'm honest about it. I just, I don't think there's anything wrong with taking hormone replacement. I think it's actually wise. Yeah. I think it's healthier. I feel way better than I did before I was doing it. Mm -hmm. And I started doing it when I was like 37, 38. And even then, um, I was just taking like the cream. I was taking a testosterone cream. And like right away, I was like, oh my God, I feel so much better. Like yeah. everything felt better. I don't think it's wrong. I think it's smart. But you got to be honest. What do you think an A list actor should do if they were asked point blank in an interview on like a movie? Like they're promoting a movie that they just did where they just peaked their physique and it's clear to the person who can discern what's going like on. Like Thor. Yeah, let's just say Hemsworth is in an interview. Yeah. Do you think, what do you think he should answer when he's asked point blank? Like, did you use any enhancement? To well, Mickey Rourke did. Did he? Shout out to Mickey Rourke. Yeah, when Mickey Rourke did The Wrestler, he told mm -hmm. everybody. He's like, he did, I think he did one of those shows, like uh, Letterman or Colbert or something like that. And he's mm -hmm. like, I was on a ton of shit. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, oh, I talk a lot of stuff. Because like, there's definitely an argument. Mickey's kind of wild, though, you know? Yeah. There's definitely an argument to be made that when you have such an impressionable and massive audience that if you say this is what it took to get here, it very much could influence the trajectory of certain younger men who are trying to aspire yes. to be like you. So, like, I see both sides of the, the coin for sure. So it's kind of an interesting scenario for some of the actors because I think just – uh, unspokenly, some of these interviewers know to not ask the question. Right. But, like, it's just an interesting scenario in which I would wonder what the best answer is if it's just point blank yes. Well, let me tell you a case. There was a guy who got really jacked for a superhero role, and he did a friend of mine's podcast. Mm -hmm. And he said to him before the podcast, I'll talk about anything, but do not ask me about drugs. Uh, I just please don't talk to me about steroids or drugs. Mm. It was the number one thing he did not want to talk about. Hmm. I think studios and the you know the uh, massive amount of money that's involved in a film, like the, the one thing they don't want is to jeopardize any of the potential income, right? Yeah. 
And if you come out and say, you know, the only way I got this way for the Hulk is I, I had to take massive amounts of steroids and this is just how it is. People are going to get upset. Oh, you cheated. And yeah. there's this, there's a mentality as you go further down the line that people are less and less educated about the realities of fitness and physiques. As you go further and further down the line, there's a mentality where people are like, Barry Bonds cheated. Mark McGuire cheated. Those yeah. are cheaters. Or Lance Armstrong. Yeah, Lance Armstrong cheated. Yeah. And they're just uneducated. And unfortunately, we're playing to that. And mainstream television is so woefully piss poor at interviewing these people and pressing them. Yeah. And they, they let them off the hook every time. Every single time, whether it's Thor, whether it's Hemsworth, or any of these people who got super fucking jacked for a movie. Like Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Like, cut the fucking <laughs> shit. You what's wild is apparently he's coming back to be Wolverine again. But they're going to CGI it. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, he mm -hmm. said he he can't do that anymore, mm. and you know he's Fair. probably. I mean, yeah, and yeah. and he's also he's in his fifties. Yeah. He's probably like I am not doing. Yeah, he's like, I'm cycle. not going like, to commit to fucking killing myself potentially for yeah. the world. 